What is good, YouTube, Quinn Wade, basketball analysis. Coming to y'all with a quick video. Today we're going to talk about Glenn Robinson the third getting picked up by the Sacramento Kings. I have always been a big fan of Glenn Robinson the third. He may not be the greatest player. He may always be on the move and on the walk and on the go um, because no team just committed to him. Teams just use his service for a little bit, and then they try to find something better or try to find another young player with promising talent um, and potential. And that's one of the hardest part about being in the league. You get phased out, and, you know, teams are always looking for the next big thing or looking for somebody that can help them contribute right away, even though it is a blessing for him to still get this contract and still stay in the league. He's going to have to figure out, you know, how he can evolve his game and how he can, you know, you know, up his skill levels in certain areas because, you know, his career is getting smaller and smaller being in the NBA. And, you know, I think he's still got a couple of years potentially, but with players continually getting drafted and players continue getting picked up overseas, there's only so many teams, you know, that need guards. It's an abundance of guard that's always available and he always becomes the one that teams feel like they can replace and teams feel like he's expendable. Even though I do respect his game and I do like him as a player, it's unfortunate that he has this consistent situation. So he's good enough to be in the NBA. He is a rotation player. I do feel like he is going to pick up some decent minutes here in Sacramento. He is a guy that can really score the basketball from a lot of areas on the court. And I feel like that was always something that made him pretty good is you give him the minutes, you know what you're getting. You give him the minutes and he can produce and become productive um, at the NBA in the NBA game and how he plays. I think with Sacramento, you know, losing Bogdanovich and not really having, you know, any real replacement or really getting anything um, for losing him um, is unfortunate. It really is unfortunate for the Kings, but they really didn't have the cap space to keep them. And even if they do have the cap space, but they will have to get rid of Bogdanovich just because you have other guys that's coming up on a rookie scale contract and you wouldn't be able to afford all three of those guys like Fox. Obviously, you have to do Bogdanovich and you're still paying, you know, Buddy Hield and Harrison Barnes and guys like that. And you're not really going anywhere. This team doesn't look like a tender. The team doesn't even look like a playoff team currently constructed. And, you know, that's just reality for this team. But getting a guard that gives you scoring on multiple levels and a guy that's very aggressive and very confident in his game and how he goes about playing, he can fit into any system. He can fit into any role. Um, never was the greatest defender, but you know that, and that's why you're picking him up to be a veteran. You know what you're getting, you know what he brings to the table, and you know he can produce when, when given minutes and given an opportun uh, opportunity, and that's what the Sacramento Kings is getting. No long-term commitment um, to Glenn Robinson, also not really investing a lot of money to get his services, and also if you don't like him, you can waive him, trade him, um, use him as filler in a contract, um, to get somebody that you want and you know he, he, he is a guy that if he, if he doesn't figure it out or or if you don't you know want to keep him you can always wave him and pick somebody else up or take a gamble on another young player um, and you know that's the reality of the situation with the team if I had to judge it I feel like the Sacramento is getting a great player for a great place without the long-term commitment and flexibility um, with the contract and to me it's a good one I like to pick up I like Glenn Robertson the third. I'm happy to still see him in the league. I'm happy that, you know, he is going to actually probably play about five to 20 minutes, um, depending on the situation and, you know, who's out there on the court. And that's good for him. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, this is a good pickup for the Kings. I like it. Check out my website, analysisplayeron.com. Link will be in the description and conversation below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayeron.com. Link will be in the description and conversation below. Like. On Facebook to show support. Thanks for everybody that likes on Facebook. Thanks for everybody that continues to check it out. Also, you can buy custom merchandise like this. Change the color of the hat. Change the color of the logo. Make the shirt the way you want it to be. Message me and I can get it shipped out to you. You can also find exclusive merchandise only on my spread shirt. That'll be in the description in the comment section below. Check that out. 
if you don't want to buy any merchandise and you still want to support the channel liking and sharing is a good way to do that like the video and share it allows me to reach more people the more people that see it the more this channel can grow also if you're new to the channel i offer breakdowns of players legends rookies and also summer league coverage summer league breakdown draft coverage free agency top 10 lists season previews and also playoff prediction and discussions of the hottest topics um every day and if you like that you can check out my other videos and subscribe also comment Leave in the comment. Let me know what you guys think. I enjoy seeing what you guys think. And I do read every single comment, even though it don't seem like I respond. Continue to do that. And other than that, Quinn Wade, basketball analysis. I'm going. And let me know what you guys think about the Sacramento Kings picking up Glenn Robinson the third.